After the whistle, I'm Adina Balthazor. A Williston native returned home to help coach volleyball at Williston State College. I spoke with Alicia McLaughlin about her new role and a career. Growing up in a sports family, it's no surprise when Alicia McLaughlin decided to play volleyball. From kids league to even playing her freshman year at Williston State College, she was always on the court. I just grew up trying everything, you know. Whatever was available to me, my parents were like, go ahead and try it, see what you like. I ended up loving it. After her freshman year of college, McLaughlin decided to change her career path and enter cosmetology school. I was always like the girl on the bus that did everybody's hair and stuff for games. So it's just always something I've kind of enjoyed. And in high school, I always told everybody, I don't need to take that class. I'm going to hair school. I don't need that. I'm going to hair school. And then I went to real school and was like, oh, maybe I didn't need that. Even with going to cosmetology school, McLaughlin never really left the court. After cosmetology school, I got right back into it in league volleyball through the arc and did some assistant or some head coaching, I guess, for the middle school program. And then kind of backed off for a little bit, got my business running, and now here I am back on the court. Along with becoming the assistant coach at Williston State College, McLaughlin also opened up a business in the town she calls home. She currently rents and runs her own booth at Sass Salon as a hairstylist. So I just work for myself and make my own hours, which is the best part about being able to coach. You know, I can work and still do this and work around it and be able to be at both places anytime I need to. McLaughlin says adjusting to the schedule of being a coach and business owner was a challenge at the beginning. But she says she is excited to return home to the community she grew up in. Coming back here, I got a good clientele base starting up because I had a lot of people that I grew up with or family or whatever. So I just started off with that and, you know, word of mouth spreads. So then coming back and being a coach, a lot of people remember watching me play or remember me from high school. It's been six years since McLaughlin was a full-time athlete. At first, she says it was a challenge getting used to the schedule, but she wouldn't change it for anything. She says she wants to be the kind of coach players feel comfortable talking to, whether it's about the game or something personal. Um, I think I would really like to be just somebody that helps the girls grow, not necessarily just in volleyball. Um, there's a lot of girls that you can tell if they're having a rough day or if they're just feeling off or they're in their head. You can pull them to the side and say, hey, like, what's up? Let's talk about it. I want to be that person. I want to be the coach that they can be like, coach, I'm off today. I don't know what it is. McLaughlin says working with head coach Chelsea Hink has been amazing and their dynamic is helping the players grow this season. I was a front row player. I played outside, so offense is kind of my thing, whereas she was a back row defense player. So we balance each other out as far as that goes. We can kind of split off and know that they're taken care of and they're taken care of and we're going to come back stronger. Alicia says she has come up with individual goals for all of the players to help them improve throughout the season. Wilson State College travels to Dawson Community College on Tuesday. Stay tuned for more After the Whistle after the break.